So it is an S class right here. Negotiate the price. Again, this is going to cost you 8 million. <laughs> Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here with a video on how to upgrade your starship and your multi-tool to the maximum. Get all the space you need for all of your upgrades. Remember, you can only have up to three upgrades. I know that's going to hurt a lot of people, but I do it with love. Anyway, we are going to do our ship first. So the way you want to do the easiest way, if you have a lot of money, and believe me, you're going to need a ton of money, is to just come over here. It'll be different. I'm on a pirate station. If you're on a normal space station, it'll look the same, but it'll be in a different location. But you're going to the Starship Outfitter right here. You want to upgrade your Starship. And if you have augmentations, you can use those. I don't have any. So it's going to cost me $75 million to upgrade it. And that's not even the most expensive one. It'll go even higher because right now I'm not fully maxed out. This price will keep going higher and higher. So I'm at 75 million. Let me show you. You buy one. And it's a 75 million. Oh, <clears throat> come on. Come on. Oh, I guess no. It stops at 75. Oh, they updated it. Well, thank God. Well, you still need 75 million per each one, which is going to add up to a lot because you can get. 60 technology and 120 down in cargo doing the math on that you're gonna need billions and billions of dollars to do this or now there is a secondary option you can do if you want to buy and scrap a ship they have the chance to give you a store or a, uh, an augmentation so i don't have any right now but i'm gonna wait for a good ship to come in now remember if you buy a C-Class, you have a very, very, very small chance of getting a storage augmentation. If you get an, a B-Class, it's a little bit higher. A-Class, a little bit higher. And S-Class is the best chance you can get a storage augmentation. The other thing that goes into that is the uh, amount of uh, storage in that ship. So the more storage it already has, the more likely you will get a storage augmentation from it. So let's see if I can get a good ship. Oh, look at this one's already looking prime time for me. Let's see what this one is. So you can check a ship without even talking to the pilot. You can check on it by scanning it with your visor. So right here, this is an S class. As you can see from the left hand side, this is an S class. It has 25 normal slots and 14 technology slots. I am kind of freaking out right now because I was not planning on having an S-Class just come in and land. Holy crap. Okay. Anyway, be cool. Be cool. We're going to, I just want your ship, man. I just want it. Okay. So it is an S-Class right here. Negotiate the price. Again, this is going to cost you 8 million. It's going to cost you, oh, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. 8 million. It's, it costs 8 million for this starship. Depending on the cost of the ship, it's going to be more or less expensive. But keep in mind, a storage augmentation is one inventory slot. And right now we're spending $75 million. So is it better to spend $75 million for one slot or spend $8 million and get one for free? I would say the $8 million is worth it. So let's do that. $8 million. So we have this ship. It is ours. So we're going to come back over to the Starship Outfitter right here. And we're going to scrap this thing. Let's scrap it. We're going to get $6 million back. So you lose a little bit of money, but in its place, you have the possibility of getting a storage augmentation. So let's do it. Claim it. And good to go. Oh, man. Hopefully we got a storage augmentation out of that. And we did. Look at that right here. This is what a storage augmentation looks like we got one we got a free storage augmentation out of that ship so instead of spending 75 million i just saved myself a ton of money by doing that so i need to get back into my in the ship i want to upgrade razor's edge right here this is the one and now we need to because you have to make sure you're in the ship that you want to upgrade you'll see it in that display you see how it looks like the cool ship that i want to upgrade and now we go back to the upgrade starship and because I have a storage augmentation now, I can apply it right there. Boom. 
that is now highlighted. But I could also try to spend 75 million. I don't have that much money anymore because I'm a broke, uh, broke person. So let's apply an augmentation. And it works the same way as your money, except for it's like a free, it's like a gift card. You get a free, you know, slot. So we can go up here and we can add one to our tech. We can add one to our general or our cargo, not general anymore. It's called cargo now, okay. But if you wanna switch between each one, hit left and right on your D-pad. So if I hit right on my D-pad, it'll go up there, boom, it's right here. And make sure it's highlighted. If you wanna to go to your cargo, hit it again, right? Boom, there you go. So you can choose whichever one you want to upgrade. There you go. I'm gonna do my tech, excuse me. And that is how you could do it for a little bit cheaper. Now it depends on the, the ship. Some of them are gonna be more expensive than other, others, but as long as you're less than 75 million, you're making money. So it's easy peasy, you're good to go. Now there is one last way to upgrade your ship. Now this is introduced in the 4.0 update. Let me show you the difficulty settings. So you can change all your difficulties. Like right now I'm on the average normal. I'm, I didn't change anything. It's been on normal the entire time. But if you come down here and you go to purchases free, there you go. Apply your changes. Now everything I buy is not going to cost me any money at all. So I can come in here and say, you know what? I'm, I don't want to buy. I don't want to waste the time, effort, and energy buying it. So we're going to upgrade. And then look at that. Purchase storage. It says 24 million now. That's kind of weird, right? And it's because that's exactly how much money I have. But don't worry. It's not that you're not going to use the amount of money you have. Watch this. Purchase. Nothing. It didn't take any money away. Purchase. 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 You could do this all day. So if you do not want to spend any money, there is no cheat. There's no refiner glitch. There's nothing you have to do other than hitting this and hitting the difficulty spike. There you go. Right in here. You can buy all of your upgrade slots right there. Look at that. And this is so it, it's built in save editor. I know a lot of people don't want to do it this way. That is the other beauty part about this. Guys, this is part of the game now. So you can make it as easy or as difficult as you want. If you want a pure experience, you want to, you know, you want to have the true No Man's Sky experience, don't do your sliders. Don't turn this on. If you don't care, like if you just want to have your slots and you don't want to worry about, oh, I have to save money. Oh, I got to do this. Oh, I got to do that. Okay. Then you can just turn it off, buy everything you want, and then let's go back into our difficulty settings. You can turn it right back to normal. Boom, standard. Now we're back at normal presets. We're at the normal difficulty again. Apply your changes. And now it's gonna cost me money. Now I'm gonna have to spend money on it. Watch this, boom, upgrade Starship. 75 million again, and I can't purchase it because I don't have enough money. There you go. You can turn it on and off at will. That way you can just do it on your own. You're good to go. And that works for your multi-tool as well. So if you want to upgrade your multi-tool, again, your multi-tool has upgraded slots. You can upgrade whatever you want. You can add at a lot, a ton of slots to your multi-tool. The one thing you can do is you, if you go over to the uh, multi-tool kiosk. Oh God, there's not one here. That's okay though. You can go to the multi-tool kiosk just like the Starship Outfitter, and you can upgrade there. It's going to cost you some money. We'll do that last. Or you can get augmentations. Now, it's a little bit different. You get augmentations from random events, like you can find them out in the wild. Or if you go to a pirate station, if you do a mission, like I do this mission right here, I will get a multi-tool expansion slot. There you go. There's no way to destroy or scrap an old multi-tool yet. So you have to get these by doing missions, by going out in the wild. Sometimes you'll find them at random, like on freighters. If you do a freighter attack, you might get one. There's a multiple different ways to get a multi-tool expansion slot. You don't have to use money. Or if you're at a normal space station, you will be able to find 
the multi-tool outfitter. So let's go do that right now. So once you've landed or you've gone to a normal space station right here, head over to this side of it. There's going to be a multi-tool kiosk right here where you can upgrade your multi-tools. Again, just like the uh, Starship upgrader, the outfitter, it's going to cost you money. You can use a multi-tool expansion slot to upgrade your multi-tool. Or look at that. 300 million to upgrade my multi-tool very expensive you're gonna need billions in order to upgrade your multi-tool i mean look at this thing it's gonna have a ton of slots and it's gonna cost me 300 million to fill up uh, it's gonna be crazy billions of dollars so i would suggest if you want to do it legit do missions and get your multi-tool expansion slots get those multi-tool additions right here so Again, they are called the multi-tool expansion slot. It's a top selection. You get those from doing missions, all that jazz. But again, if you're not, you're like, dude, I'm just, I'm not into it. I don't want to spend a million hours trying to make money and do all that stuff. Go to your save editor, turn off or make purchases for free. You only have to change this one setting right there. Apply it. And now I can go right back over here. And now it's going to cost me, look at this, multi-tool expansion slots open, purchase new slot, 99 million. Doesn't matter, pick whichever one you want, and it's totally free. You can just upgrade all of it and not even worry about it. Boom, 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 boom. Oh my God, it keeps going. Oh my God, how many slots do we get? Now, there is a glitch right now where it's giving you a ton of multi-tool area slots. So this is probably more than we'll ever get. Actually, they're gonna they're gonna patch the game. I know that for your starship, there's 60 in your technology and 120 in your cargo. Same thing for your your exosuit. 60 in your technology, 120 down here in your cargo. For your multi tool, you can get a ton. I have a feeling this is too many. They're gonna patch it and they're gonna remove some of this. So don't go too crazy. But there you go, you can max out your multi-tool. And then, again, just go back into your settings, turn your purchases back to standard, and apply your settings. And now you're back on normal difficulty. Don't have to worry about it, you're, you're done, you got it finished. Now you can just worry about upgrading and maximizing your multi-tool and your starship. So hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, hit that like button for me, and I will see you guys next time.